Ok, ok, ok. Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Hi, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están hoy? So today we have an extremely important topic to talk about. I mean, I'm salivating, y'all. I'm salivating to talk to you about this topic. It's insane. You know the amount of ridiculous comments I've gotten, um, especially from males that don't understand that their species is li literally on the brink of extinction. Every day that goes by, what women are choosing to give birth less and less to these males and give birth in general. Okay. But what males don't understand is that that's not going to lead to the extinction of the female species. That's going to lead to the extinction of the male species or potential extinction, I should say. Okay. So, why am I saying these things? It sounds so out of this world. Are you crazy? IPGG, what's going on here? IPGG, what are you talking about? Extinction of males. Okay. So let's dive in. Okay. If you want to know more as to why I'm saying these things, okay, then stick around for the rest of this video. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and comment below. This is one of the most important messages that I want women, especially women, to start getting more educated on, to start to start understanding and knowing so they start understanding and knowing and realizing what their power truly is, okay? Women, we are leaders. We own everything. I've said that in a few of my videos before, and now you're about to hear why I keep saying that we own everything. <laughs> IPGG, why do you keep saying women own everything? What does that even mean? We live in a patriarchy. So how do we own everything? Y'all, trust me when I tell you that we own everything. Everything. Okay. So let's dive in, right? Can females survive and live without males? Because I hear too many ignoranuses, ignorant females, ignorant women say the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest things. The dumbest thing that I've, one of the dumbest thing, things that I've ever heard women say, and they continue to say because they're so ignorant, but we're about to get them caught up. That's what we do on this channel. We get them caught up. Okay. These women just need to get you y'all need to catch up because the patriarchy has done too much damage on your mind. You don't even know what's going on. Okay. So we're about to catch you up. Okay. Can women survive without men? If men and males, I'll say males because that's really what they are. That's how I view them. If males were to go extinct, what would happen with women? we'd be fine. We'd be doing a lot better. <laughs> we would be doing a lot better. Planet Earth would be doing a lot better. Nature would be doing a lot better. That's the answer. So when the stupidity of what a lot of females say and the dumbest thing, one of the dumbest things I hear females say and women say too regularly is, oh, we need each other to survive. We just need to coexist and work together. That is stupidity. It's ignorant and it is untrue. Y'all, if you haven't, the, you know, my, my hot drinks, you know how it is with my hot drinks. I stay on hot drinks. I cannot help it. Okay. This is spark this time. Combined a couple of flavors of the spark. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's just a bunch of vitamins and it tastes good. <laughs> okay, so the answer is yes. We can survive without the male species. We don't need the male species. 
We don't. IPGG, what are you talking about? Okay. Um, what are you talking about, girl? Okay. So let's start. Let's dive in. If you want to learn more, again, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. I want these videos to be more interactive because this is how we learn. Women, very, very proud of you because, and proud of us, because globally, we're choosing to no longer have babies, not even based off of the fact that we own everything, because a lot of women don't know that because of this patriarchy that males created to delude us and lie to us because they're scared that they won't be able to continue to survive, right? Which inevitably, because they just don't have what it takes to be leaders, and also they can't give birth, they can't nurture a child with their body, there's no other, they were always meant to go extinct or come close to. We have to reduce, we have to drastically reduce the number of males that we have on this planet, okay? Right now, males already outnumber females by an incredible, incredible amount. That's the first problem that we're having and that's the first problem that planet Earth is having. We have to reduce the numbers, the number of males that are here. We don't need this many. Literally, we don't need these many males. We have to reduce the number of males. They need to take themselves out, right? Because I am also not in favor of us women getting our hands dirty when it comes to that. But you know, we don't have to because the more women that leave these males alone and to their own devices, the more these males will take themselves out one way or another they will be gone okay so why am i saying that it's possible and that's where we're heading anyway when it comes to women not needing males to reproduce because it is possible we don't need males to reproduce let's let's look at data, I'm going to first, we're going to first look at data as to why I am a firm believer that we need to reduce the number of males that we currently have living and occupying on planet Earth. And when I say reduce, I mean for the entire world. We don't need any more than maybe, we have billions and billions of people on the Earth, maybe 100,000 males. Uh, and that's all together at any given time. We don't need any more than that. And we need to cap it at that because males destroy by nature. Their nature is to destroy and they can't breed life into anything because they don't have internal life they don't have internal light they just aren't biologically wired to have that ipgg girly that's intense why are you saying these things that's so mean okay let me show you the proof and let me show you who's really mean you think i'm mean you think i'm being mean let me show you Who's really mean? Let me show you the truth. Okay. So let's dive into this. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> yes. All right. What are we looking at here? Okay. This, this is a research article on gender-based violence. This is a research article on gender-based violence from the Department of Psychology, Arizona State University, USA. Okay. Gender-based violence, the concepts, methods, and findings. Okay. Now, research articles are based off of research. 
they're based off of evidence, findings, right? So they're very long. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of pages, okay? However, we're going to look at the abstract, hence the summarization of what we found, what was found based off of the research that was conduct conducted on gender-based violence. What was found? Okay. The United Nations has identified gender-based violence against women as a global health and development issue. The United Nations. Y'all, don't play with me. Listen, let me let me see something here, okay? <laughs> let me show you something, okay? The United Nations, the United Nations has identified gender-based violence against women as a global health and development issue. And you are, you're trying to call me the mean one? I'm the mean one. You see what a lack of education will do to you? This is why it's because women are getting education 10X at a rate of 10X males. That's why we're starting to leave them alone. These males are nuts, complete psychos. Why would I bring a child into this? What is this? This is not it, okay? But, but I'm mean, right? Okay, let's see some more, okay? Let's see some more, all right? Let's see, let me see here. The United Na Nations. Okay. The United Nations. Let's take a look and see how many uh, members and countries are currently in the United Nations. There are currently 193 United Nation member states. 193. Each of the member each each of the member states of the United Nations has one seat in the General Assembly. So all 193 member states have determined collectively that gender-based violence is a global health and development issue. Gender-based violence against women. Because now you have these Lying serpent males on my video saying, well, well, females are violent too, sir. You're going extinct. I don't have anything to say to you. Goodbye. All you have to do is go sit down and wait for your day because we're women. So we're not going to get our, our hands dirty. You're going to do that for, for us. You're, you're going to do it for yourselves. The United Nations consists of 193 United member states, United Nation member states. Okay. Look at all these flags, 193. And all of them collectively have seen the data and are saying, uh-oh, we have a big problem here. We have a big problem here. This patriarchy that we've created is gonna cause us to go extinct. This is a problem, all right? Let's go back to the research article because IPGG is just so mean. IPGG is just so mean. She's just so, uh, 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 I don't care. 
what you have to say. Do I look like I care? I was, you know, my purpose on this planet is this, exactly what I'm doing right now. That's why I was, that's why I was born in exactly this time. Because I could have born, I could have been born at any period of time in history. But here I am. So you can say whatever you want. But the evidence does not lie. And get your vitamins, women. We all know males don't, I don't care about them. So like, so anyway, <laughs> the United Nations has identified gender-based violence against women as a global health and development issue. And a host of policies, public education and action programs aimed at reducing gender-based violence have been undertaken around the world. I typically don't yell, but when I talk about things that I'm this irritated and passionate about, I get to, I, I have to, I have to pronunciate and enunciate. I got to do it. I got to do it. Now, y'all, this, the link to this research article is in the description below. So if you want to read the whole research article, which I would encourage you to do, maybe break it up in chunks throughout the day or whatever you got to do, but it is in the description below. I, and, and it's in the description of all my videos. Right there. That link is right there. Okay. Because y'all get to, I try to highlight this. I don't know why it's not highlighting. Because y'all get to try to act like I mean. Yeah, right. Let's take a look and see who's truly mean. <laughs> a host of policies, public education, and action programs aimed at reducing gender-based violence have been undertaken around the world. Males are so despicable they're so violent, they're so vile, they're so mean, all of them, that this is a problem around the world. And you want to sit there and challenge me? Especially if you're a male? If you're a woman, I'll sit here. And I'll at least listen to you and give you a chance to talk. If you're a male, you don't stand a chance. Get off this channel. Or you can stay so you can kind of at least know what's in your near future. Around the world, y'all, they're unaliving women, unaliving children. This is what you want to bring children into. You sure? You sure? This is what you're chasing. Every time he tells you, I don't want to be with you. Every time he tells you, oh, I cheated because of X, Y, Z. Oh, I put my hands on you because of X, Y, Z. This is what you're chasing. This caliber of a species. Think about that. Think about that. They will go extinct. And females, women, we will still be here. We will be fine. We'll be fine. At the end of the day, what we'll probably end up doing is reducing the number of males across the world. We, all, we don't need more than maybe 100,000 males. We don't even need that, right? And I'll tell you why I say we don't need it, right? It's more of a convenience because we actually don't need males to procreate. We don't need males to procreate. Women, we are the ones that have the seed. We have the seed. I don't know why there's a lot of women that don't know that. I don't know why there's males that don't know that. So they go around spreading lies saying males are the ones with the seed. Are you insane? So you're like, what? All you have is water. Why do you think it comes out like that? All watery and gross. 
women, we have the actual seed. We have the actual seed. That that's the whole that like that's the whole point. You look it up, you'll find it. Google who has the seed. So, let's see. Okay. So, let's keep going. This article highlights new conceptualizations, methodological, is, uh, methodolo methodological issues, and selected research findings that can inform such activities. In addition to describing recent research findings that document relationships between gender, power, sexuality, and intimate violence cross, national, cross nationally, it identifies cultural factors, including linkages between sex and violence through media images that may increase women's risk for violence and profiles a host of negative physical, mental, and behavioral health outcomes associated with victimization, including unwanted pregnancy and abortion. More, re more research is needed to identify the causes, dynamics, and outcomes of gender based violence, including media effects, and to articulate how different forms of such violence vary in outcomes depending on cultural context. Okay, so that's a, that's a mouthful. We don't even know, we're still researching why these males are so evil. That's basically what this is saying. We're, we're still researching and trying to figure out why they're so innately evil, useless, violent, and this is what you're chasing, especially across culture. Cultures like the African culture, it is really particularly bad in certain cultures, okay? The United Nations has identified gender-based violence against women as a global health and development issue and a host of policies and public education programs have been undertaken around the world that aim to reduce such gender-based violence. So who is the mean one now? IPGG, who's trying to protect women and ladies from the male species and their violence and their hateful behavior, the male species has no business being here on planet Earth. I gotta tell you, they don't. They do not. The ones that are able to push back against their inherent violent, hateful nature on a daily basis are the only ones that we might be able to make exceptions for. And there's only one to 3% of those around the world. If you've watched my videos, you notice that I always say one to three percent of males around the world, not just in the U.S. The rest of them have got to go. They're completely useless. Useless. So as as women, I want you to ask yourself, is this the what you are chasing? I have made several videos recently of high profile celebrities, women going through this at the hands of males. Kiki Palmer, Cassie and Dee Dee, Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson. I think his last name is Jackson. Just to name a few videos that I've made in my channel. Go watch it if you haven't watched it after this video. Now, then you wanna come into my space that I've created for women after taking a 
over a decade, actually, way like over 20 years to get to the point where I am now to where I'm able to create maximum impact for the purpose that I, for my purpose and the reason why I was brought into this world, you want to come into my space and God's like me, it, it's not going to happen. Check out my video. There's one of my videos where, um, one of my videos where there's nothing but males commenting on those videos and they have nothing but hateful things to say about me. They don't even know me, but you know why? It's because in that video, I told women, do not just date. If you insist on dating males, instead of leaving them alone and living in peace, you insist on dating them, then you cannot afford to date one at a time. You must have a minimum of three at any point in time. And you must not sleep with them. Period. Period. Don't be a girlfriend. A girlfriend is a useless label. What is the label of a girlfriend going to get you? It will get you this gender-based violence. You will, you will end up in this category, but you will have no legal protections. That's the only difference. You ain't got no legal protections when it comes to um, economic uh resources so money house if you have a child okay girlfriend the role of a girlfriend is made up it is a it's a completely pointless role so i mean sorry not sorry it's a pointless role it is made from the patriarchy it was made by males so that they could have easier access this is how vile the male species is so that they could have easier access to women and their loyalty without giving it back in return and being accountable so they want it, they want to be less accountable for their vile actions. Do you understand? Laws were not put in place because women are the violent ones. Laws such as child support, for example, were not put in place because women were be, were the ones being problematic. That those that that law and all the other laws that relate to that were put in place because males are vile because it became such a big issue globally and within the US where the majority of males were doing this behavior getting women pregnant and abandoning them getting them pregnant and abandoning them physically hurting them it became such a mass issue where enough of them did it that we had to put laws in place to try to control them a bit more, keep them under a bit more control, keep their hate under a bit, a bit more control. And it's not working. That's why women are just like, you know what, I'm done. You want to be vile and hateful? Do that on your own. We are done with you. We're done. Okay, so let's move on to the next part because the video is getting a little bit longer than I intended. Okay, so. The second part of this question, so IPGG, I, okay, this, I see what you're saying, but how is it that you, you're you saying that we don't need males in order to pr procreate? 
how is it that you're saying that if males were to no longer be around, women would be just fine, we'd be even better off? IPGG, what does that mean? What are you talking about? I'm talking about parthenogenesis. That's a mouthful, right? Parthe parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis literally means virgin birth. Virgin birth. Okay. Parthenogenesis is an asexual is is an asexual reprodu reproduction in which a female can produce an embryo without fertilizing an egg with sperm. Without fertilizing an egg with sperm. What did I say earlier in this video? Women, we have the egg. The only thing males have is sperm, AKA fertilizer. They can't do jack squat with that. Not only can they not do jack squat with that, that is everywhere. You walk on the street, you, you step on a random condom in the middle of the gas station and that's got fertilizer in there or gross water in there. It's everywhere. There's no value to it because you can get it from anywhere. This is the truth. You can't get eggs from anywhere because there's no there's no way oh, how where are you going to get eggs from we own it you can't just walk in the gas station and step in an egg <laughs> that's in a condom somewhere you it's not that is how that works by nature so parthenogenesis virgin birth is an asexual reproduction in which a female can produce an embryo without fertilizing, without fertilizing, which means we don't need a male. We don't need males. We don't need any type of your gross fertilizer. The fertilizer that males have, it's all, think of it as like a, a shortcut. It's like a shortcut. It's not needed. We could just go the normal route that in the beginning times throughout history, that's what we used to do. We didn't need males to reproduce. We could just go that route. Okay. So it's a reproduction in which a female can produce an embryo without fertilizing an egg with sperm. You are not needed, males. Let me tell you, I don't care if your feelings are hurt. I don't care what you say. Oh, my God. You're in trouble because this is what I was put on this earth to do, is to educate these women. You know why? Because you've been so vile for so many years. And it is time for you to respond to that. It's it's all it's time for you to be held accountable. And you know how that's gonna happen? We're gonna we're we're gonna get get rid of your species, <laughs> or at least the majority of because. Honestly, it's not even like we want to. It's just the fact that it has to happen. We don't have a choice because your species, males, you're ruining planet Earth and Mother Nature. You're too vile. You're too hateful. You cannot, you're too dark. You don't bring any light. You don't bring any life. Okay. So in Greek, it means virgin creation. In Greek, it means virgin creation. It occurs naturally 
in some jawed vertebrates, such as the whiptail li lizard, but in mammals, it is an unnatural event. So this has already started happening. We've already started seeing it in quite a few animal groups. In quite a few animal groups. Look at this, y'all. Spontaneous parthenogenesis and androgenetic events occur in humans. You can get pregnant without a male. But they result in in two uh, two more two tumors, the ovarian ter some of these words are so teratoma and hida. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to say that mole respectively. So what does this mean? This means as we clean up Earth, because I believe the fact we can already do it. Look at this; it already happens. Did y'all know this? There's already women that are able to get pregnant without a male involved. Think of the fertilizer again as a shortcut. You don't need fertilizer, you know, really, you don't really need fertilizer. If the growing environment has everything that is needed and is healthy, then you don't really need additional fertilizer. If the soil is already healthy, if the soil already has all the nutrients there. And so think of yourself, ladies, as that soil in nature and on this planet. Low stress, the sun, the right temperature, the right environments. You don't need a male to, 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 to reproduce. So I believe that the reason, but they result in tumors. So the reason that they, res, they some of them uh, result not um, as healthy as they should or not healthy is because of the environment, this patriarchy. Okay, because when women give birth without males involved, essentially what we're doing is we're cloning ourselves. That's really what's happening. Biologically, we're cloning ourselves. So there's no reason for the offspring to, to come out with any type of defect. There's just not. The reason that that's happening is because of this toxic environment. This is not the natural environment that women are supposed to be living in. It's too toxic. It's too many males around. There's too many males. They've got to go. Um, so, and they, they will, but they'll do it themselves. We're not going to, we don't have to do anything, but, but leave them alone. And they will end themselves. I promise you that. Okay. So it's all, but I, I, I illustrate this because I want you to see that it's already happening, y'all. So when I say males are already going extinct, they don't even know. They're so dumb that like, it's like, duh, 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 duh. you know, they don't get it. Duh, duh, duh. You just don't get what's happening, do you? You just don't get it. <laughs> we have sperm banks at every corner. Do you see a womb bank anywhere? Do you see a womb bank anywhere? Do you see an egg bank anywhere? <sighs> and keep in mind, it takes more than just the egg. So, you know, even yet another reason why these males are gone, they're done. They're done for. There is no saving them. Can't save them. Can't save them. They don't want to be saved. It takes more than just the egg. Now you have to have the physical capacity, the physical layout and capacity 
to allow this child to grow because the child has to have that environment right to grow before it's pushed out into the external world do males have that can their body hold a child i didn't think so i did not think so so before you walk around here calling IP, 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 G, uh, GG mean and calling her names. Pick up a book so you can understand the lies that you've been told for too long. That's your throne, ladies. He's sitting on your throne. He's got to go. He's been lying, sitting on your throne, looking at you in your face, lying, unacceptable. Unacceptable. And they did it to themselves. I'm the mean one, yet it is literally a national epidemic crisis. Gender-based violence against women but I'm the mean one for telling women to wake up. Don't leave, don't live with the male species. Don't get a house with them. Are you nuts? Get your own space, get your own stuff. Let them fend for themselves. If they come over to your space for a couple of hours or a short period of time or a couple of days, Charge them. Okay, what are you contributing? Because you over here sitting on my couch, watching TV, you using my Wi-Fi, my internet. Fertilizer is nothing. I can get that by stepping outside of my house in front of my front door. There will be a used, disgusting condom that some random male dropped off while he was walking full of fertilizer so what else you got sprinkle sprinkle let me see your bank account i didn't see my direct deposit otherwise get out don't waste your time women you don't need them They've just been lying to you through the patriarchy. All right. This video has gone on a little bit longer, but you know these are... Uh -huh. Now that I figured out the whole recording thing, this is the research I've been dying to dive into for a minute. Right? So we'll be diving more into... We'll be using this research article for quite some time. Diving more into it as we talk about more of these subject matters. But you need to understand and stop defending these males. They are vile. They're vile. They're horrible. They'll sit there and tell you they love you. They'll sit there and tell you like they lie as easily as they breathe. Lying to these males is like breathing. I love you so much. You're my life. I just want to start a family with the lies. You need to understand the species that you're dealing with. They, I mean, that is just who they are inherently. Another thing, all babies start out with XX chromosome. Why is that? Did you know that? All babies start out XX. They all start out as females. All our babies start out as XX chromosome. So when you get pregnant, they start out as a girl. At, for at least six to seven weeks, that baby is a girl. Have you ever asked yourself, okay, then what happens? Why? The, everything starts off 
female. That's why we own everything. This is what the, all of these reasons is why we, I, I, why I always tell you, we own everything. They lied. And they have the nerve to sit there on your throne, looking at you in your face, trying to continue to lie. Like, we don't got the internet. Like, we don't got all these things. You want to look at me in my face and tell me you're useful? Liar. They lie. So what happens after the six to seven weeks? A mutation occurs. Literally a mutation. Because you use that fertilizer. Because you use the fertilizer. Instead of doing it yourself, you use the fertilizer. And so now your baby is coming out mutated. So a male is a mutation. A degenerated form of a female. Degenerated. Mutation. Not original. Did you know that? Yet IPGG is the mean one. <laughs> IPGG, you so mean. Independent pretty, independent pretty girlies group, you so mean. IPGG, what's going on here? Did you know that? Degenerated, mutated female. So they're no longer female due to the mutation and the degeneration. So what are you defending them for? What are you saying? Oh, we need each other. We don't need each other. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Stop lying. Stop lying to people. Okay. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. This video was like, ah, so long. But I will talk to you guys later. Subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.